Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Naquan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and today we're going to be turning 2D images into animated GIFs using MageSpace. So the actual site, Mage.Space, this is where we are. And on first glance, it's kind of just a normal text to image generator, but you can also create GIFs. And if you see, these are just some of the action GIFs that I created. And I actually use the image to image technique to create these. And so you just make a normal prompt, just like a normal stable diffusion. Here's the uh, models and the different things that I've used. And this is the actual image that I used. And so it's not exactly like the image, but it's still pretty close. You can see the same with uh, some of these up here, like this one. This is the image that it started out with and then it created that image as well. Of course, you can adjust the image strength. These are some of the Glimmer um, GIFs that I've created. So if we look at some of these, you'll see just how closely it actually mimics the actual image that I used. Now, I didn't use an image for all of them. You can just do a regular prompt and then no image. That's what I did with these. But I do like the way it looks better when you use an actual image. And if we go to my static images, you can actually see some of the images that I started out with and turn them into actual GIFs. So yeah, these are the images that I created just using normal stable diffusion prompts. And then I used these same prompts and just turned on the animate function and it turned this into an actual GIF, which is where these came from you see the same with um this woman here you can see it's a prompt that i used to create this image i created uh, several images of that same style and then i turned them into gifs which created these short videos so let's have a look at the site to see how it all works. Now this is just my profile, my profile image. Um, this is where you would set up everything, have all your creations and stuff. If we go to explore, here is what the community created. Now the animation part of this site is actually very new. And so there's not a lot of animations created yet. I think it's only been out for like a couple days. And so people are just now getting used to it, learning how it works and all that stuff. And so you're gonna see just a, a lot of normal uh, 2D images like you would for any other stable diffusion uh, text image creator. And of course you can actually rerun, remix, and reimagine any of the images that you see here. You can even turn these into videos uh, very easily. So now let's jump into, let's actually jump into the creator. So I'm gonna go to one of these and just click on remix. And this, this is the actual creator. So if we clear everything out, you can see here, it works just like Stable Diffusion. You got the different models here. There is 95 base models. Now the ones you see up here, these are the ones that I've um, favorited, and so that's why they're in front. But you can see the regular order would be Stable Diffusion 1.5, and then you have all the uh, really popular models. There's uh, 95 of them, so there's a ton here. And of course, you can go to the community in Discord to request another model. Now, if we go down here, we got the lures. There is over 18,000 lures available. So as you can probably imagine there's going to be a bunch here. Um, actually, let me take off some of these settings. It's not showing all of them just because of the settings that I had set up. Because not all the lures is going to work with animations and stuff like that. But you can, of course, just do a search to find things a lot easier. And then they got the uh, textual inversions here. There's 2,000 of these. And it works the same way. You can just um, search for whichever one you're looking for. And then they have the control net features down here on the bottom. If you were to do um, 
more advanced stuff with like negative prompts, seeds, the different schedulers, clip script, cars, and of course the privacy settings. So everything works just like a regular, um, regular stable diffusion, but then they have this tab right here, the animate tab. And so if we were to go to, let me jump back to explore. If we were to go to one of these images, for example, let's uh, have a look at this one. So we got this nice image here. We go to remix. All the settings is set up for what created that original image. If I were to just click this right here, it would actually generate just a normal image and we'll see what that looks like. And here is the regenerated image. So you can see it looks um, very similar to what we started with, just a little bit different. I can enhance it if I want to, which is just the uh, upscale. You do have a face fix and different things like that. Copy the prompt, make public and delete. A uh, bunch of different things you can do. Here is the negative prompt. That's actually a really, really big negative prompt. Now, if I were to keep all the options here, and just change to this animate tab then it would actually turn it into a gif rather than an actual image keep in mind that not all models work with animate um it says 80 plus compatible models so i actually have no idea what 80 um what, what are all the ones that are uh, compatible with the gif feature but we are just going to give it a try to see if it works and so I'm going to click on generate and we're going to see what happens. And here is the result. So it actually looks pretty good. I'm really surprised um, how well that turned out. A lot of these images um, or a lot of these image props are not really made for, um, for animation. And so sometimes it doesn't turn out very well. It's better to use an image and uh, go with the image prompt route. But as you can see, this actually did work really well. So what I want to do is I want to go back and uh, we'll go back to that original image that I created this one. I'm going to download this image. And you can see here's uh, some of the images that I've downloaded in the past as I've been testing this out. And then I'm gonna go back, remix this upload that image Let's see if I can find it up here it is and then we're just going to leave all the settings on default you can see you can adjust the prompt strength you can actually change um, if you want to use like just the background just the foreground or if you want to do custom in painting so you can actually decide what in the image you actually want to change which is really nice click on ready and now we're going to keep everything else the same, except we are going to animate. So now let's see what that turns out. And here is the result actually using the image. And as you can see, it did come out a whole lot better um, using the image. The other one before, it looked, um, it definitely looked like the picture, but this one, it's a lot more coherent as far as how it looks. Now there are different ways you can do this instead of just hitting the animate tab. You can actually look for the animation model uh, down here. They have uh, two different ones. Let me see if I can actually text the GIF. There we go. So these are the two models that they have. So you could just select the model and then go through and select your LoRa and your text one version and all that. But I find it so much easier to just hit the animate tab it's a much better way of finding them and you do you can select um, more than one tab as you can see now if we go to the actual showcase you can see all the different models that they've used to actually animate images um, you can click on them and then see so this is the two new v5 model so this is a way for you to actually see if your model works well with the animation and what it would look like. You can see this one here is a Dreamful version 3. Plus this is a great way for you to just come up with some interesting ideas. 
Now this is one that I've seen a lot. This is the kind of like the Dream Shaper, um, I guess the Dream Shaper default image. Every time Dream Shaper is on a site, you'll see this image. But this is the first time I've seen it actually animated into a GIF, which is really cool. This is the same for um, uh, XMix9, the realistic one. You see her a lot. And so it's cool to actually see what she looks like animated. And they have some actual 3D cartoons in here. A lot of the real Asian models, you can animate those pretty easily. And so this is actually um, probably the best I've seen as far as actual animating images. There are some other ones out there. I will cover Pika Labs, for example. I am using that right now. But just the way that you can actually choose different models, I make I think this one may be the best. Just because with all the other the text of video and stuff like that, they're good, but all you're using is text. Here you can choose a model, you can choose a lore and you can actually make some serious changes to it. And so if we go over the pricing, that's probably the thing that's going to get people the most on this. So if you want to use the actual GIFs, um, you cannot do it for free. So you can see that they have 20,000 lores, 20, uh, 2,000 textual inversions, Create GIFs is actually only available in the Pro Plan, which is $15 a month. The basic plan, it does give you a lot, but it actually does not give you access to the, the lores and the textual inversions or the fine-tuned models. The same with the free plan. So it is nice that you can generate unlimited images with the free plan, but you will not get access to any of the um, fine-tuned models or the lowers. It would just be the basic stable diffusion, which in all honesty is probably not worth it uh, if you're going to use it for free, just because there are other free, um, other free programs out there that give you more that you can do for the free plan. But if you want to use the animations, then I highly recommend it. This is one of the best ways to animate 2D images right now. As I did mention, Pika Labs, which is currently free, but when it gets out of beta, it will no longer be free, I'm sure. So that is pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to show here. It's just incredible the things that you can do with this software. I highly recommend it. If you guys have any suggestions on any images you would like to see me animate, let me know in the comments below. Send me a link to them and I'll pop them into this bad boy and see what happens. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.